Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I uh, got a little update here tonight on this uh, International Fleet Star that, that I've been working on. I haven't done much today except for I did make some uh, some mirrors for it. I made uh, all the brackets and the little spot mirror for the front. Let's see if I can get this turned around here. We've got this side done. You see, I kind of figured out how to get my cab to sit on here at a correct height to match the uh, the hood. And then we uh, we did make the rest of our uh, housings for our lights on the back of it. We made uh, all these, all these on this side. We got the uh, the hinges on the doors, and we got the center plate on the door. Now all we have to do is drill a hole on one side or the other for our slam lock and then we'll drill one down here one down here and same on the other side but yeah uh, work progresses it's it's coming along kind of slowly right now but we did uh we're, we're getting there it's hard to line everything up right we did make uh Kind of spin you guys around here a little bit. Our uh, our little flashlight that we were working on last week, we started doing some painting on that. So we got him in his little spot. All lined up. I can get him back in there. So he'll go there. But yeah, it's coming along. We did get the uh, some uh, chrome work done on the front bumper. I have. Uh, a bunch of goodies to go along with that. That's why I added this uh, extension piece out here to help with it setting on there. Plus, it'll give us a nice uh, a nice glue glue location. This thing I haven't decided yet. I might have to put a couple pieces under here to hold it flat on the frame after we get the interior in it and then I still have to make the the steps and the fuel tanks for it but it's coming along uh the mirrors actually took me pretty much all day on and off it's just uh 30 thousandths rod and then some uh scrap pieces of uh styrene the little spot mirrors that we made are made with a, a hole punch this is a, a sheet of ten thousandths styrene i punched three holes out glued them together and then just glued the uh the little rod on it right here the little pedestal and we've done this the same thing on both sides you use the the tamiya extra thin and once you get them all three glued together you just kind of uh do do one of these numbers in your hand with it and it rolls down the edges and it looks like one piece so i thought those come out pretty decent i might actually make uh make another one for the uh set out here off of the uh the hood somewhere coming off coming off the hood for the driver to see out here that's kind of why we put the uh 
the the blind corner pieces on here. This thing's getting ready to fall at any second on me, so and there it goes. I can just tell by the way it was setting. But that's what we've been working on. We got the uh like I said, we got the mirrors, the mirrors done. They don't look uh god awful, I don't think. Looks like I got this one pointing up in the air a little bit, but the driver's side looks decent. And then here's what we look like from the back. I don't have the mirror. The mirror itself is all glued together, but they're not glued into the cab. So I'm hoping I can let these set for a day and then pull them out of the doors so I can uh, get a good wet sand on this cab before we try to prime it here in the next day or two. I'm going to probably have to do some a little work. You see how that hood's not wanting to flip forward with that bumper. I'm trying to do all this one-handed, but... There we go. Not like that. We still haven't uh, done any work on the Detroit yet, and I'm not real sure how much of it's going to actually work to be in there, but uh, we're slowly making progress. I did get the uh, the hood support around the firewall done. What I did there was I glued a, a piece of uh, 20 by 80 thousandths uh, wide styrene actually to the cab itself. The super glue took hold really good on that. Once that's set up, I put this 40 by 156 uh, on the other one with, uh, to me, extra thin. So it, it held and bonded together really well. But just want to give you guys a quick update and let you know we're still working on it in... Uh, we will get there eventually, no matter no matter what, we'll get there. The back is, is coming out, and uh, we do have, let's see if I can reach back here around me. We do have all of our uh, lenses made for all these uh, lights on this truck, all these up through here, just... Uh, made out of some push pins. It gives us a uh, a nice chrome edge once we once we cut these off down here. We we'll have the nice chrome edge that will be on the outside of the tube and nobody will be the wiser. That's a my handy little expensive jig that I use to make these lights with. All right, guys, uh, appreciate everybody tuning in. Uh, like, share, and subscribe if you like what you're seeing. And we'll see you here uh, on the next one.